Okay, welcome back everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there. This is part two of our sub battle stream today on this Saturday. We're going to continue on. Uh, team chat just picked up their first victory last round. And so uh, if you're just joining for this part of the video, basically I'll give a real short description here. Basically how this works is I'm playing against the subscribers in chat all day. Uh, so it's myself versus team chats and... <clears throat> we're going to be uh, picking random uh, subscribers to play against all day, whoever's up and ready, and I'm spinning a wheel to determine which deck I am playing each time. I just played at Sultai Control. All right, let's see who is up next. Eisenf. All right, Eisenf. You are up next, so send me that gamer tag. There's mine. Okay, and I'm going to see what deck am I playing. Spinning the wheel. Ooh. Elf Ramp. All right, good luck, Eisenf. GLHF. Eisenf. All right, where's Elf Ramp? Here's Elf Ramp. This deck is basically just a bunch of elves, and we're ramping into Ugin's Hydro Crisis and Finale of Devastation. That's the plan. Uh, make sure you got best of three up there. There we go. Ah, it wasn't best of three. It says best of one as, whoops, I always hit that. I always hit the play button, but I have to hit the direct challenge. It says best of one as the <clears throat> default. All right. Ooh, that's a good hand. Like this incubation druid to help us ramp. All right, we got soul ring sleeves. Oh no, blast zone. Is this is this Nexus or is this a different deck playing blast zone? Okay, it looks like a different deck playing blast zone. Looks like a mono black deck with just colorless lands. This is what you want with Growth Chamber Guardian, with your Squadron Crab, right? You want to just draw all of them naturally? Pretty sure that's what you want. Okay. Chromatic Black. Um... Yeah, we're walking right into a Cry of the Carnarium. So I was basically seeing if it was Ritual of Sit here, I would adapt to the Growth Chamber Guardian and go grab another one. Cry, I'm going to adapt to the, the Incubation Druid so we get to play this Ugin. These, these don't actually have color now, right? This doesn't give them color. No, they just kind of look like that. Because it does say destroy target permanent. That's one or more colors. So I just encountered an opponent with a cheese combo. Roalesque plus cards to create copies. Copy of Roalesque. Apply two counters to something. And then it dies because of the legend rule. So pro proliferate twice. And it happens every time opponent copies it. That's a pretty cheese combo. Acquisition. Why would you want a card outside of the game? You want to just get cards inside the game? Ooh, that was weird. 
The car like showed up like almost like I was giving them the card. <laughs> we really did draw all the growth chamber guardians. We drew every one. Ooh. Secrets manifest before you. Nah. No action. <laughs> yeah, we naturally drew all four Growth Chamber Guardians. <laughs> yeah, this is my elf ball deck, yeah. Oh, uh, Star of Extinction! No! Nisa. The land shall conquer you. All right, working our way up to the Nisa ultimate. <laughs> yeah, that was the star from the sideboard there. Yeah, that is called, that's a Bant deck. White, green, and blue, that is Bant. All right, so I want all the Negates and probably the Disdainful Stroke and probably these Rex Ages. Blow up Chromatic Lanterns. Um, I think I'm gonna take out Clan Caller and I guess Finale of Devastation against like the removal heavy deck and one Marwin. I'll just take out a Paradise Druid or an Incubation Druid. No, I'll do this, okay. Yeah, this, this works. That works. Kandoris with the tier one sub. Thank you so much, Kandoris, for that support. I really appreciate that. Enjoy all the awesome emotes. And if you want to battle for our next, if you want to play the next match, make sure you stay in chat and type battle whenever we do our giveaway to see who's up next after this. Kandoris says, long time stalker, first time paid sub. And hell effin yeah, I want to battle. <laughs> Heck yeah. Lantern. I gotta kill that. Do I need to kill that this turn? Probably not. Let's get the druid in play. So I can hold up negate. Taps me out for the turn. We'll see if it pays off or not. That blast zone's looking kind of scary. Hey, the goat boat! Thanks for the GGs and the great content. Thanks, goat boat. Thanks for that resub. So I think I would rather... I'd rather my opponent uh, Blast Zone on three than on two. And so that's why I'm throwing out that Steel Leaf Champion. 
I like Incubation Druid's ability to add mana like this more than I like Steel Leaf Champion. So I was trying to entice the Blast Zone for three here. Because all this mana, all this mana is just much more valuable than these than two creatures here. Hmm. So maybe I should have just done the harbor so I could have a double counter spell. But we got the breeding pool by itself is a counter spell. And then I have like the four mana after that for the steel leaf. But yeah, I, I'm just loaded there. I got I got everything covered at that point. Alright, elf ramp with the impressive win there. I think that the one thing Eisenhower could have done differently there that second game was kill the two drops. <laughs> hey, that's all right. GG's. You think? Oh, you're saying that you think that was a fun with the getting the three drops instead? Yeah. Oh, you only meant to put one on the stack, but it just put. Oh, because you you did X two because you were thinking you wanted to make it kill the twos but there's already one on there so when you said x2 then it just makes it three yeah okay uh sorry about that eyes and f okay um if you want to be the next person to battle uh go ahead and type battle if you're a subscriber this is for subscribers only hey oslin <laughs> it is 5-1 now. So where is... <laughs> Always want the rematch, yeah. But we'll have to wait till, till next time, though. Only one uh, only one battle per stream, because there's just too, too many people that want to battle. So I'm sorry about that, Eisen F. All right, Kadoris, are you in here? I know Kadoris wanted to get in here. Okay, you're in there? Good. Yep, there, I see you there. Loki with the sub. All right, Loki, if you want to get in this, type battle. No Yud, no Matt so far. Thanks, Loki. All right, let's see who is. All right, let's see who's up next. All right, Nan is not a subscriber though. Rent it. So let's redo this here. Sorry, Nan. Logie says, "Yo, new viewer, just getting back into the game after years in arena seems pretty cool way to do so. It really is." Welcome to the channel, Loki. Striker. All right, Striker Bow. You're up next. So get send me that gamer tag, Striker Bow. Uh, this is my gamer tag. And let's go ahead and spin the wheel. See what I got coming up next. Ooh. 
This is a nasty one. Gruel Arcbow. It's one of the best decks I got. Alright, you got a challenge here, Striker Bow. Alright, so where's Gruel Arcbow? Hey, Asus. All right, we played this deck the other day. Uh, it had, it's this is the kind of deck that just attacks all the time, and we have our arc bows in here to, to put in creatures at instant speed. Also, this is a fun one. Yeah, this deck's pretty strong here. Ah, I came in yesterday just missing the arc bow. Gotcha. Not today. Oh, thanks, Emmanuel. Glad you're here too. Great hand. Turn two Jade Light. Take that every day of the week. Even on sub battle days. Bant stuff. Jay Light's a good a good play next turn. Ilrog putting in Ravager Worm. That's a co that's a combo. <laughs> it's Catter Day. Attack. Ooh, nothing. No counter spell. Took the damage. All right, no Frilled Mystic because of this basic planes. Settle. All right, all right. Consider me settled. The match is not settled, though. Still battling, seeing who's going to win. <laughs> that cat buddy vote's your favorite on Twitch. That's a good one. Like the smirk that Hawkeye has. It's, it's perfect. Get a 1-1 one, one counter with that one. Too many Ravager Worms. That was... <laughs> Are you actually serious? <laughs> that was... That was rough. Yeah, that settle needed... Needed to wait a little bit on that settle, I guess. But couldn't really take that 8 the previous turn. Alright, so this is a Bant deck with Settle and Sahili and Growth Spiral. So like a Bant control deck. So I think I want these Vivians in instead of Domri's. And I think that's all I'm going to do. I could see playing Cinder Vines. If there's going to be like a bunch of enchantment removal. But maybe not if it's Sahili. Because enchantment removal with Sahili doesn't really work too well. Right? Because I think Sahili is only instant sorcery. I think. <laughs> so 
So no cinder vines. Yeah, I mean, honestly, that hand was just awesome. Like, you know, we had the, the turn two Jade Light, turn three Jade Light, and then turn four uh, Ilrog, and turn five Swing for Lethal. Doesn't get much better than that. Hmm. That's something to Cinder Vines away. Interplanar Beacon. Okay. Okay. Starting to pick up what you're putting down. <clears throat> Spellbreaker, of course, is my anti-settle card. It's just what the card was designed to be good against. Settle the wreckage. I am Teo. Let me be your shield. This is what I trained for. Hey, Teo. That's unfortunate. But yeah, I wanted to see if I could set up like another draw. But now it's a 2-1 and it gets completely bricked walled by the 0-3 that Teo can make. Yeah, Striker Striker is bringing some spice. <laughs> Talk to the wall. Uh, no, folks, I'm not. Okay. The Ashiok settle combo? Oh no, that doesn't work. It's only your opponent's control. Never mind. That doesn't work like that. We're just going upstairs. Going upstairs. So destroy target land with an activated ability that isn't a mana ability. So this has like a, a static ability that's not a mana ability, but this activated ability is considered a mana ability because it adds mana. It's an activated ability that add, adds mana. So Ravager Worm would not be able to destroy the Interplanar Beacon. Now, of course, if the Ascanta flips, we can destroy that. That's, that's an ability that's not a mana ability. Could be a time wipe here. Time wipe, cleansing Nova, anything like that. Uh, fog, maybe. Scene Striker have Settle, but Settle doesn't work because of Spellbreaker. The anti Settle. Gruel Settle Breaker. GG Striker. I mean, yeah, if the yep, the Settle Breaker. Striker probably just didn't have any any other options. Who runs Settle? I mean, that's that's what makes Settle strong. Is people aren't playing it, so 
you get you get more people by surprise because people aren't used to seeing it these days. Makes it even better. <clears throat> yeah, that that deck is mean. That deck is quite fast. All right, if you're a subscriber and you want to be next to battle and you haven't battled yet today, go ahead and type the word battle into the chat. Let's see who's up next. All right, we're getting some more people in here. Okay, I need to get part one up on the YouTube channel. And it's uploading right now. Okay. Let's see who's up next. Spartacurus. Spartacurus. All right, send me that gamer tag. And I just put my gamer tag in the chat there. All right, let's let the wheel decide. What's the next deck on the menu? All Mono black zombies. What, what? Mono black zombies. All right, here's our awesome zombie deck. Oh yeah, we're playing Angrath. Nice. Ugh. There's like hardly any cards <laughs> that have that thing. I was like, man, there's a lot of cards without. Um, without the card styles. Nice, Osley just made this deck today. Cool. So Sparta Curious, okay. Yeah, make sure you do best of three of the top. That's something that's easy to forget to do. I've definitely forgot to change that a couple of times. I need two lands. If we just had two lands. Triple Dreadhorde Invasion? That would get crazy. Oh, right, well, this is perfect. Well, you know, perfect without Liliana, I guess. Red Horde Invasion. I mean, obviously, we had the plan of Diagraph plus Drill Bit for this turn, and then Death Bear in the next turn. All right, well, now we know that that plan is not going to work, so let's just throw out the Invasion. Giving your a mass, you know, giving your zombie token Death Touch is pretty nice.
This deck is pretty nasty when it does its thing. Yeah, no, no Cabal Stronghold. Uh, you really just want lots of black sources. Like, you need to... Like, the Cabal Stronghold is a colorless land, and you don't have... With only 22 lands, Cabal Stronghold just doesn't doesn't usually add mana for you, because you have to have... In order for Cabal Stronghold to do something better than basic Swamp, you have to have five Swamps in play. Also with Stronghold. Whoa! Alright, this was... This was green-red. Green Red Walkers. That's a good draw. Yeah, unfortunately, Spartacus just sitting here on the three lands. I would be honored to hire Dork. Okay, game two. Hopefully Spartacus gets some more lands this time. Price of Betrayal, this, this is why this is in my sideboard. <laughs> Just to one mana destroy a Planeswalker. That looks like a, a good card in this matchup. And I guess I got all these duresses for a reason. And... Um, maybe I don't need the cast downs? Or the Death Barons. Or Angrath. Let's go with Davriel instead of Death Baron. Alright, no removal. All discard. Yeah, Cousin Noddle. <laughs> right, sideboarding timer shows zero because it's just a challenge, so there's no there's no timer. You get to take as much time as you want because you're just playing a 1v1 challenge versus a friend. I've never had this this card in my hand before. Land War Elf was up there of cards I did not want to see at all. Cause since I took out my removal, it seemed like seems like Spartacus's deck is just Land War Elves and Planeswalkers, and so I was hoping that there'd be no Land War Elf. What do we got going on over here? Ugin. Take that. No, again. We're, we're going to take that. Karn. Karn takes up to target. six loyalty? Ooh. Not six loyalty. What? There is always another fight. It's a weird card. Weird design. Getting the beatdowns by the one ones here. Yeah. 
Yeah, what was that menu? Yeah, because you can remove up to five, so it's like... But it's still kind of like a, a weird menu. Usually, you know, like if you think about like... Uh, Who are uh, you to call me? Come to me! Something... Uh, like fight with fire whenever you kick it, you know, just has like the numbers above it kind of thing. All right, so we're going to kill this. No. Yeah, but it can have different types of counters, so I guess that's why it looks like that. All right, being this 4-4 is going to be a little tough. You got five loyalty when you start with. I'm mysterious, refined, and a far better dresser than you. I don't think you'll be needing that. So I guess I'm just going to have this Davriel here as bait to try to gain some life. Good. And hope Spartacurus doesn't like the Davriel and attacks the Davriel. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know who shared that land cycler either, but um, it works very well. Okay. New game. All right, I think I have too much discard. I'm going to take out the drill bits. And I'm going to play cast downs. And go back to basically my main deck. All right, let's do that. Too much discard. And I think duress is probably just better than drill bit. All right, like it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna lead gutter bones into invasion. Uh, hopefully, turn three, I'll have a third land so I can go graveyard marshal plus duress. But with the aggressive deck, you want to get on the board first. It's the most important thing. Oops, not you. Yes, you. Oh, I know priests of forgotten gods in this deck because. Priest is not a zombie, and this is a, a zombie deck built around the zombie strategies, or synergies, sorry. What an interesting creature. Let's see how you work. Time to come up with a new plan. That was perfect. That was perfect. Ow. No. Don't burn my zombies. Everybody knows that zombies get killed by fire. Whew. Well. Okay, Stomery doesn't do a whole lot on its own. Karn and Nyssa, on the other hand. Nyssa makes creatures to block. But those creatures are lands. Let's take Karn. I guess Karn I get to attack though also. Yeah, Domri I can attack here. What a glorious day, Mr. Mana. 
Uh, we won't answer to other guilds. Yeah, we can beat Nissa. Like, Dreadhorde Invasion makes a bigger token than 3-3. Three, three. Um, yeah, I'll trade Graveyard Marshal for Land War Elf. Yeah, I'll, I'll destroy a land here. Ooh, right on my noggin. Yep, all in on the Dread Horde. Time to amass our army. We won't answer to other kids. Power surges through these lands. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Ow. Ooh, that was a great one. Makes it a six. That's a. That was just a great draw. What a clutch draw. Six six. So that gets life link from Dreadhorde invasion. Double life link, also. And it threatens lethal with Nissa. What a great draw that Death Baron was. We will not fail. Okay. Nissa says that. They won't Behold, fail. Nature's true power. <laughs> yeah, I've been drawing really well tonight. Admittedly. Forgive me. Double life link. Okay. Dang, that's seven already? All right, GG Spartacurus. That was, yeah, that was some fun games there. That price of betrayal I had, especially that game three price of betrayal was just perfect. Drawing the Death Baron when I did was perfect. Okay, we need a new subscriber. Who's gonna be the next champion? So if you're a subscriber and you want to battle, you're up to the challenge here. Here we go. Everybody's getting in. <laughs> Midgen says, I got this. All right, so today is the 11th. So we're getting a new um, Okay. All right, let's see who's up up next. All right, the first sub battle part is up on YouTube now. Noxy all right, Noxie, you've been wanting, you've been wanting to fight. Here we go. Sorry, I was getting like the new video up on on YouTube. It's up now. All right, Noxie. 
Send me that gamer tag, and uh, let's spin the wheel. See what we were playing. Let the wheel decide. All right, we, I got some jank here. Let's simic proliferate. This is Boots deck. Uh, where's it at? There. Let's see if anything I want to change to this deck. <laughs> Escape shift. Uh, don't you have a style? Yeah. Got to get that evolution sage. Oh yeah, Ashiok. That's just a dead card. Um, I'll just put in another negate. Okay, we got we got Karns bashing in here. Wait, oh, 59? Wait, what did I take out of the deck? What happened? I just want to take out the Ashiok and put in like another negate. Okay. There, now it's fixed. We could use Tatiova in that deck. All right, good luck, Noxy. No, no Mawus. Mawu. No Mawu in the deck. All right, we're going to be proliferating. We don't have anything to actually pro proliferate yet, but whenever we do, it'll be glorious. Attack. More evolution sages. <laughs> Nothing to proliferate though. But we had to get the two triggers. Interplanar beacon. Don't worry, I got this. This is hardly my worst defeat. Um Go another evolution sage. All right, fairy, what you doing? We Ticking up. Trust me. You'll thank me later. I have nothing to proliferate, though. Yeah, 
Yeah, just the one. Rude. Let's skip to the good part. Okay, now we're going. Now we're going. Now we're doing things. I look forward Not sure if we're going to beat all these planeswalkers. Are they your Probably not, but... This will come in handy. You know what? So what can I, I do next yet. turn? So I'll have Nissa plus four mana. Nissa, Tamio. Through this land, we are all connected. Harness the elements. You're not entirely incompetent. I don't even really know what I have in my deck, honestly. Let us see if your talents are worth to like tick up for. I oh, I guess this tells me. My notes helpful. Uh, Vivian. As far as main deck cards. Because, yeah, that's showing my sideboard, too. Let's take it back. Decisions, decisions, decisions. <laughs> what? Tammy over there. Every story is an How many Tamios are around here? No! Ah, oh, the Cleansing Nova. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. Well, let's go grab Nissa again. To the library. Hey, Crazy Pyro, welcome back. I, it's either Teferi or, or Tamio. I don't, I don't know which one I want to attack. It's one of those two. Let me go Tamio. Grazer's not doing anything. Sorry, Crazy Pyro sub number eight on the day. It's a matter of give and take. Gotta get those hype boats in the channel. Hurry! Come on, y'all. We got a, a resub there. And yeah, thanks so much, Crazy Pyro, for 22 awesome months. Yeah, so basically made it if if the no opponent want to go get Cleansing Nova hard. back, then Tamio would be dead.
practice hone your prowess. Settle. Um. Need five mana. I follow the tracks of the wise. Let's see if we can get like a, a combo here. Four. This what does this get? Any number of forest cards? Let's go five. So harbor, harbor, island, island. Okay, so I only had four. Oh, field of ruin. We get to proliferate five times. Now we'll ultimate this Nissa. Spring. Go get all these things in play. Reproliferate. We're doing stuff. I don't really know what we're going to do with a Tamiyo on 20 and an Nissa on 14, but that was pretty sweet. Hold that thought. Yeah, now we literally, yeah, we don't have any more lands in the deck. All 17 cards Always left in our deck are not lands. Meditate and prepare. But we could be much greater. We were not destined. I'm well equipped to deal with nuisances like you. There are so many mysteries to uncover. Keep an open mind. Don't know how I'm dealing with all this stuff that Noxie has. Yeah, there's zero downside on that settle now. True. The past is never forgotten. Um How much do we want to do this for? 6 8 10 11 12 do you draw five? Oh, I can't draw because of Narset. That's lame. Too many planeswalkers are out here. Harness the elements. Uh. 
Um. I will protect the virtue of this world. The land fights for us. Just keeping everything on top, basically. I hope there's not another destroy all your creatures thing. Ugh. At least our land has indestructible. This little thing over here. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Nothing. Yeah, we're Keep gonna have to kill Jace. Thanks. Basically, just don't want to see settle. Even like indestructible stuff's not that big a deal. Let's try this. Really don't want to see settle. With me. I have just the trick for this. Ah. Uh. I, that gets settled back. I am Tamio. It is an honor to meet you. Root snare, same whatever. Much from my ancestors. <laughs> Cutting their mana out with Field and Tamio would be a real long process. Thanks, Holy Hagen. Oh, wait, what? I wanted to... Why didn't it let me Karns Bash in? I clicked my turn. Dang it. I was looking at the other screen. Behold, nature's true power. I guess that's our I guess that's where the what we're doing here. Past holds our future. I don't know if a Crucible world would really help us do too much. Yeah, we have like some spy glasses in the sideboard and a bunch of counter spells.
we lost this game. Like, we're going to lose this game, but... We just got a Tamiyo tick up, um, and then Jace minus, and then we're dead. Now, Field works really well in this deck because of Evolution Sage. Like, this this is definitely a Field of Ruin deck. I had no idea I could do that either. But all sweepers... Fogs and settles are just really, really good against me with having like no interaction kind of thing. Do I want this card? I mean, both Teferis bounce this very easily. But we could maybe combo kill him with the Scape Shift. I don't know if I actually need all these extra Vivians. All right, that was a crazy game. Vivian's not necessarily bad. Like, if we get to ultimate Vivian, then we don't have to worry about all their cleansing novas. And Noxie had a lot of cleansing novas that game. Yeah, I need a mortal sun. That's what I need. All right, here we go. Turn down. I would keep myself. It's definitely hoping that that would be. That'd be a 3 2 because with the Evolution Sage. Hit hard. The only companion. I'm don't, don't worry. I'll be quick. Excellent research. Let me aid your research. Ah, uh, there's a Nissa. And four negates. We didn't have like the fifth land, so I didn't say Nissa. If you show remorse, I'll show. You. Let's try this. No 
tail should be discarded. Kind of expecting a counter spell here. Actually surprised no counter. Rise, my elemental friend. Come along with you. Yeah, tick up. Right on sketch. No, I am not making this up as I go. We need to move quickly. All right, let's see if they have another. Ooh, ooh. All right, let's see what we got. All right, so we're gonna go. One, two. All right, so that's three mana. Evolution Sage. Um. So I should be able to kill my opponent here through, like with negate backup, basically. I follow the tracks of the wise. Unfortunately, we need to do that. So now I have four mana here. do that. Now we're going to escape shift away. So he's going to escape shift away three lands, make that forest a 7-7, seven, seven, and then still have the two mana for the negate the whole time. Oh, right, because they have Teferi, so I couldn't even cast negate. Well, <laughs> I was thinking about how to how to sequence all of that and just forgot about the stupid Teferi. Gosh, all these planeswalkers have so much text with like that that extra clause. Sometimes you just forget about them. Oh yeah, Nor Norwazi said that before. Sorry, Norwazi. No, you're all good. Yeah. Well, this could definitely lose. Maybe Noxie will not have any... Hopefully no Teferis. Literally first card Teferi. I am not going to sit this one. I've got time. Literally first card. Be a bad idea. Trust me, I have a plan. Put 
Does it settle here? Can't negate it. So not actually choosing a land to put a ca any counters on because of them playing all their sweepers and stuff. Let us have a storied battle worth retelling. The past Can't even counter that root, root snare. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Doubt it. So three, go down to two. That didn't put counters on Simic Ascendancy? I should've got- I guess I should've got Island. Island would've gave me no, because I wouldn't have had enough mana if I would have grabbed that one. I think to do that and to, to Simic Ascendancy and Karn's Bastion. Yeah, no, I understand why it doesn't. I was just hoping that it would. But no, I understand why. Here we go. Why it doesn't actually work, because you're putting counters on a land, you're not putting counters on a creature. I can no longer stand by and watch. Hurry! That's probably another fog, is what I'm guessing. The land bestows opportunity for those who are worthy. Cannot protect itself. Rise, my elemental friend. Okay. See if it's no fog. 
We're looking great. Uh, there was no fog here. Why can't I just negate? Why can't I ever cast negate? Ugh. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. Going with Dovin's veto? I'll protect you. Oh, I I'm I'm asking a rhetorical question of like why I can't negate, not my prowess is unmatched by put thoughtfulness before action. Come on. No time for a break. of my upkeep. So it's 20, 22, 24. Twenty-six. Twenty-eight. Crisis for twenty six. Yeah, I'm leaving proliferation. So at least make that to fairy minus. To the library. Yeah, so the, the Simic Ascendancy had 26 counters on it, but um You know, it has to be at the beginning of my upkeep. And so the Teferi oh, gets to tuck it. They do have to have like a root snare or a settle every single turn of the game. <laughs> Magistrate Scepter on Karn's Temporal Sundering.
discarding Dovin's veto. Do have to shuffle. I'm going to keep my indestructible lands. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Skip to the good part. <sighs> they just got to play this Teferi on turn three. I have learned much from my and ancestors. bounce. And every single turn after that, they've just had fogs. Just never been able to kill it. I've tried to kill it every single turn since that. Just <laughs> never been able to. I can't do anything. How you play the hand you're dealt. And I have like these counter spells that if we could cast counter spells it'd be would be fine. Why does this need to be three mana? And have so much loyalty. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Yeah, so much loyalty. Some Petal Grove is better. Yeah, Lil Teferi has such a back such a backbreaking static ability. I really like people playing blue, white, and standard, I guess. With both those Teferis. Ugh. I was really hoping I would draw Tamiyo, uh, so I could Tamiyo bring back Field of Ruin. Behold, nature's true power. Yeah, I'm gonna reset arena after this game. The yeah, I know the it's so long and so many permanents and everything. The frames aren't handling it too well. Seek and find. You know what? I'm not done yet. Turn back while you still can. OK. 
Okay. Wow. They have another fog? I guess there's a fourth fog in here. So I guess on turn two, or I guess it would have been turn three, I could have... No, was it turn two? Because, yeah, were we on the were we on the draw there? Yeah, I think we were... I don't remember. I could have maybe just held up negate, like, just since the very beginning of the game to try to negate Teferi, I guess. I think that's the only thing I could have done. The Teferi was just so backbreaking. I had like two negates in my main in my opening hand, and I could never I could never negate anything because of the little Teferi that landed on turn three. It's just such a backbreaking static ability. All right, let's reset this arena here. Okay, if you want to be the next person to battle, go ahead and type battle into the chat. If you want to be the next person up. Yeah, so only for subscribers, correct. <laughs> it's all right, Noxie. All right, everybody getting in there? All right, let's see who's up. All right, Wales. Wales, you're up. I fight Wales with my fists. All right, send me that gamer tag. There's my gamer tag. We're going to go ahead and spin this wheel. Let's see what we got up next. <laughs> All right, Bant Legends. It does not have a lot of fogs. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's go here. Bant Legends. Where are you at? There you are. All right, this is our deck list. If you're not really familiar with our deck here, Kind of similar to what Noxy just had, but we're not playing a bunch of Fogs and Settles, though. We got some some creatures. That's basically the difference there. <laughs> but real similar to the last deck that Noxy was just playing. But we got Kamal's Druidic Vow also. Card sweet. Ah, wrong thing. I'll eventually get used to like hitting the challenge thing up in the top right hand corner instead of hitting play. Oh, is that? Oh, because I just restarted. My fault. I'm sorry, Wales. I'm sorry. <laughs> I fight Wales with my fist on Twitch and Moon Sheep on. Arena, that's awesome. All 
All right, let's let's get a big Kamal's Druidic vow here. Let's get a big Kamal's Druidic vow. All right, we got Fibblethip. Certainly want to keep a Fibblethip hand. Knight of Malice. Grow Spiral is is like the better play here, likely. Just, I mean, we just have four mana like the next turn and everything, and we can just fit in the Fibblethip somewhere else, but oh, and I'm playing Fibblethip. This Ruinous Splash should be really good here. Because see, now, the good part about playing the Fibblethip is that Moon Sheep doesn't realize, or probably doesn't realize, that we're going to be able to have Urza's Ruinous Blast the next turn. And it's just going to be incredible. So then we get the Surprise Growth Spiral. Untap Blast. We get that Exile 3 for 1. Because Fibblethip is so legendary. Just too legendary. Too legendary to handle. Um, let's go with Vivian. I shouldn't have played my land this turn, so like maybe we Would get a shock land here. Yeah, we could have that shock land, but I'll take the Hinterland Harbor. We'll just have the card advantage that Vivian is providing. Oh no! Is my Vivian. All right, we're gonna have to bounce the knight. This isn't a fight you can win. There goes nothing. Because we need Fibblethip the Lost to take down Ugin. <laughs> Death comes oh, Fibblethip's just too legendary. Hey, what's up, Jack Dude here? A oh, little Teferi and Eldest Reborn? Yeah, that's a match right there. Alright, so I think I want another Shalai, another Lyra, some more Runus Blasts. Um, gonna take out Vivian. Take out. Narsets? And the Ajani. I'm not sure if the Ajani actually really fits in the deck. Wanderer can be really good against Seraph of the Scales, but we got all these Ruinous Blasts. That should be enough. Yeah, Fibbletip was the MVP there. It's a lot of lands. Lands are cool. Um... What's the best deck that I play? I was tuning the Selesnya Titans deck earlier today, and I really like really like that deck. I really like where it's at. Um, so it's like a Selesnya arc. I'm calling it Selesnya Arc Bow now. But if I would take a deck to a tournament like right now that's the deck I would play I would like to test a new hypothesis with you uh, let's look for Runa's Blast somewhere. there's one a millennial dragon with tons of power or a lost boy don't kill the Tamiyo. They kill the Tamiyo, I cannot cast a blast. And I am done for. You are setting a bad example.
to the library. Right, I'm gonna say Teferi. Big Teferi. Hmm. No big Teferi. Woo! Glad they didn't play that last turn. But you know, they're scared of like play getting the Prism Realm out there and get the getting the Prism Realm Runus Blast. That's what they're scared of. Another land. No, I haven't updated on Stream Decker, no. I can show it to you after this game. Yeah, the, the green red ill hard arc version of arc bow is also really good. The reason why I like the the green white is because I think the green white is the green white's a, a whole lot better against white or mono red. Sorry, it's it's like basically built to beat mono uh, mono red, and I think it's pretty good against Esper and um, Esper and Nexus also. I think. It's hardest matchups maybe like some of the other mid range decks. They can go over the top of it. All right, we need it. We need it. Kamal's Druidic Vow off the top here. Druidic Vow. Come on, Hawkeye. Hawkeye, I need Druidic Vow. Ugh. Or Ruinous Blast, either one. Or Tamio that gets back Ruinous Blast. Or Teferi. And Teferi tucks the Prison Realm that gets back Ruinous... Teferi would tuck that, gets my Tamio. Tamio would get back Ruinous Blast. Any of those draws. I'd be surprised if that's a Nothakaya in there. But we'll see. Not Othakaya. All right, I like what we got going on. We'll try not to draw quite as many lands, like, you know, maybe two or three less lands. <laughs> I know, I, I didn't reveal whenever I was just super dead, because my only out was having whales not attack. All right, I could use some more, some more lands here. I don't mind keeping the six lander. This deck requires a lot of lands. I'm drawing, you know, twelve lands, that was kinda rough. Like so drawing like another six lands. Sorry I'm late. Trust me. Draw a little better than that, but I don't know. Didn't really mind that too much. Gideon Jura, at your service. Share in my light. Like the phases of the moon. I think you will find my notes helpful. Hmm. Yay, Druidic Vow. I'll 
protect you. Yeah, Gideon's gonna be a little bit of trouble. I believe in you. I really should have seen best. that coming. I have learned all I can here. Hmm. Wonder if Wales is going to minus six this Gideon to get rid of my Fibble Thip. <laughs> Seems a little silly, but you never know. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. One less feet. To fight. I walk a righteous path. I will That's just some good strength. magic right there. Ugh. Yeah, I was in Mythic last season. Ugh, need to get back there. Prepare this for one. <laughs> no, my fable step. This will be a close. It's definitely going to be close one way or the other. So we're going to have to chump block here. If they have removal spell for July, of course I'm dead. We'll have Teferi tuck Gideon this next turn. Uh, that's a problem. That's another lethal attacker. Can't cast Val right now. Hmm. I mean, I think our only chance is if that we have our second Fibble Thip in the top two cards. I can't think of anything else besides that. No, because then the, the Gideon kills the... No, never mind. That'll, that'll just get rid of the Fibble Thip. That's not an out. Yeah, one more... If we had one more land, we could add Teferi plus Dovin. Um... I 
I don't I don't have any outs here. You have been analyzed and found wanting. Fibble dip. Dang, no fibble dips. All right, team chat with another win. Creativity. Defy invention. Yeah, but even if I dove in for two and fibble thip, like even if we hit fibble thip there, the Gideon just minuses My and exiles the fibble thip. So it doesn't actually get to block. That Seraf, well, obviously the Gideon was great, but the Seraf kind of killed me there because I couldn't deal with both threats. I could deal with one or the other. All right, that comeback, it's on. GG's, whales. GG's. Well, Gideon was on one loyalty after... Like, Gideon was on seven. Whales just activated Gideon to put it to one before attacking. All right, uh, let's see. Next giveaway. All right, so if you want to battle up next... Here we go. Now's your chance. If you want to be the next person to play, you got to be a subscriber. So if you're a subscriber, type the word battle into the chat. <laughs> and you know, new new people each time. So if you've if you've already battled today, you only get to battle one time per stream. Ah, uh, sorry, Orisonic. All right, who's up next? Is everybody in there? Chat's coming back. All right, looks like everybody's in there. Kurtash. But Kurtash already battled earlier so that could be joy because joy gave his battle to kurtash earlier since kurtash never got there so all right so joy you're up let's let the wheel decide what's in my deck All right, send me that gamer tag, Joy. Mono black aggro. It's my other of my two mono black decks. Stop. Ah. This one is focused more on on dread shade. This is a mono black dread shade deck. So we got Dreadshade, Spawn of Mayhem. That's what we got here. Ooh. Hey, Weston. Uh, sub number nine on the day for the fourth month in a row welcome back weston thanks for that resub there and we are one away from another sub goal at the sub goals uh what i do is i open up a booster pack and also put it mark it down towards the countdown of our next sub battle stream we're at four sub goals right now and once we get one more subscriber we'll be at the fifth sub goal out of 20 whenever we get to 20 we do this really fun stream that we're doing right now. Uh, no. I'm going to need some more lands. Oh, you're welcome, Weston. Thank you. All right, we'll get the invasion going. 
Even though, honestly, it may be better to just go Squire, because then Squire can actually attack and I can play Spawn next turn. With the Dreadhorde Invasion, I have to wait a whole another turn to attack. Huh, you call it anarchy. Me? Oh, have at it, boys. <laughs> okay. So yeah, now I got to Squire this turn. But see, I wanted to get the Dreadhorde Invasion going and start ticking it up towards six kind of thing. That was the perfect card there, Ripjaw. His Ripjaw fight gets the draw card. We are the many. I was gonna play Chupacabra here, but now with the drill bit, I guess I'm just gonna play that attack, Joy, and then drill bit here. See what we got going on. Another rip draw. Let's take that. <laughs> oh, I wish you could see your face while I'm beating you. My creatures. The army will reamass. Come on back. <laughs> Definitely, it's respectable. I like it. The joy of. Always getting those dinos in. I like it. Right, 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 right. <gasps> right. Give me some more. Uh, nothing disgusts me more than law and order. <laughs> oh, that is not a brick. That was the best draw. I was feeling good about this game until that Carnage Tyrant. That's usually how Carnage Tyrant works though. You feel good about the game until Carnage Tyrant. I bow to no one. Well, that's going to be game. Got some fire going on over there. Straight up fire. All right, I want another cast down to walk the plank. Davriel? Hmm. Take out Squire. Card doesn't seem like it's going to matter too much. Maybe Davriel instead of Midnight Reaper. Hey, that's awesome, Crimson Rum. Good job. Way to go. You're welcome. All right, let's draw a third land. 
By let's, I mean me, not not y'all. <laughs> I'm chanting for Joey. Joey's our boy. Joey's our boy. <laughs> yeah, chat's catching up. Chat's getting more into it now, too. <laughs> Gruel is cool. I'm gonna go with the Dread Shade. I'm gonna stay aggressive here. Ooh, I look forward to seeing you running away. Alright, well, Dreadshade will be able to take down Domri if Joyv doesn't block. But we'll see if, if Joyv has, like, a lightning strike also. <laughs> Nothing disgusts me more than law and order. Finish with you, not by a long shot. All right, that's good for me. Slow. That's a, that's some slow down there. Getting rid of two mana sources. Which is a terrible do nothing card. It attacks for so much. See how much this card attacks for? They can attack for seven this turn. If I draw a land, both of these dread shades are, le are lethal. Had to block both the dread shades. Dread shade's a terrible do nothing card that does nothing but win. That's what dread shade does; it wins. What deck is this? This is mono black aggro. What we're currently playing. I don't think I want the Davriels on the draw. They even looked kind of slow on the play. Maybe I'll get Squire back in. I don't think I want Reaper. But on the draw, I'll be a little slower. I'm going to get the Squires back in. Squire will help me hit land drops. <laughs> All right, game three. Two aggressive decks. Dinos gets to be on the play. I like this hand. Can make some dinosaurs walk the plank. 
Because you know dinosaurs, they can't. There's not really legendary dinosaurs, so I might as well use this and keep the instant speed one for later. But I definitely need to kill this Otepic Huntmaster. We'll have the Huntmaster walk the plank. Galta, yeah, Galta's a legendary dino. No! My master plan! My master plan was, you know, attack with gutter bones and then drill bit. Time for the Dreadshade. So good, doesn't die to Lightning Strike. Um, attack for one. I'll do one here. And now I'll drill bit. There's the lightning strike. Taking the lightning strike is going to let me just tap out. Um, so that's seven, nine. All right. And a lightning strike would be kind of bad. Uh, a land plus, like basically they need land, register, alpha. Yeah, rip jaw, we get the chupacabra. All right. GG's, Drive. GG's. Um, yeah, the that shade, both those last two games are just awesome. Okay, uh, this is where I'll go ahead and take a quick break here just to uh, just to stop this YouTube video. We're another two hours, so I'll you know chop it off here. Um, that's the end of part two. So if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, click on over to part three of our sub battle stream to continue 